Okay, um, this is a the second night um, wearing a different shirt and everything. Um, this will probably take another night or two to shoot. Um, I like shooting at night more because I have more energy at night. That's just me. But I'm still here. I'm going to try and get through stuff as quickly as I can in here, you know. Um, so let's uh, get back at it. Oh, First... The last dragon, you possess the power of the glow. Great movie. I think it needs a special edition. Although this has a commentary with the director, but I haven't heard it yet. So, Dodgeball, the rated version. I don't think the unrated version has that much more in it, but, but good features on here. This is the original Kings and Queens of Comedy Laugh Pack. It's got both of these. Original Kings of Comedy, which is great. Original Queens of Comedy, I haven't watched and I probably won't. Next. Uh, Blank Man with Damon Wayans. Great movie. David Allen Greer is also in it. Fletch, the Jane Doe edition. Great movie. Great features. And the just as good sequel, Fletch Lives. Tenth and Wolf. Uh, my mom bought this, but it looks interesting. There's a lot of great actors in it, as you can see right there. So, maybe one day I'll check it out. Uh, Premonition, this is my mom's. 976 Evil, which was uh, Robert Englund's directorial debut. Uh, it has Stephen Jeffries from Fright Night in it. Um, this is the theatrical version. Uh, when it came out on VHS, they did, the, they did an extended cut. I have the VHS somewhere, which I'll show later. But that's the, that's the theatrical version. Carlito's Way, this is the Ultimate Edition, great movie. Al Pacino is phenomenal in this. One of my viewers, um, he said his uncle's in this movie, so that's really that's really awesome. So, that's Carlito's Way. Excessive Force with Thomas Ian Griffith from Vampires and Karate Kid 3, great movie, great action movie. It's a shame he didn't do more. Uh, Little Giants, great movie. This has a commentary with the director and the girl that played, and the writer and the girl that played Becky, the icebox, O'Shea. Next up, The Giver, the director's cut with Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is not the fucking Giver. This movie's alright. Um, good fight scenes, good special effects and makeup, but. The story, not the, it's just the acting's pretty bad, and Mark Hamill's not the Giver. And the great sequel, The Giver 2, Dark Hero, which it's pretty much just an R-rated version of Power Rangers or Ninja Turtles. So awesome movie. Shark Attack 3, Megalodon, so bad it's good. Ball fucking shit. Gremlins, the special edition, classic, got some great features on here, deleted scenes, commentaries, documentaries, and the equally good sequel, Gremlins 2, the new batch, love Gremlins 2, this has got good features on here too, deleted scenes, featurette, commentary, so, I love both Gremlins movies, double feature, Adam's Family, and Adam's Family Values, both great movies, uh, I wish these had special editions. I think they deserve it. I know it's, you know, Ra Raul Julia's gone, but they could still do a, you know, they could do a documentary and just talk about him. But love the Addams Family movies. Joyride, the special edition with Paul Walker. Great thriller. Um, great movie. Check it out if you have not seen it. Candy Cane. White Chicks, uncut and unrated. I like White Chicks. I like the Waynes Brothers, so. The 
Full Monty. This is my mom's. The original My Bloody Valentine. This is the special edition, which has the extended cut with more violence and uh, making of documentary, deleted footage, and another like horror film thing. But great classic slasher movie. And the remake, the two disc special edition of My Bloody Valentine 3D. Um, this was actually a really good remake. Um, really enjoyed this one. Um, it had good acting in it. I like the acting. Um, Tom Atkins is in it. You know, the 3D stuff, it re you know, it really doesn't transcend onto home video that good anyway. But, you know, for what it was, it was pretty good. Um, you know, can't complain. You know, it's got some good features on here. So I enjoyed this one. This was actually a remake that I liked. The Phantom of the Opera, the 1989 version with Robert Englin as the Phantom, which was pretty good. This movie got a lot of crap when it came out because a lot of people thought of it as a Nightmare on Elm Street ripoff. But it was still pretty good for what it was. Uh, 21st Century Film Corporation did it. Uh, Menahem Golan did it after, they, uh, after he left canon. So, good stuff. The original Maniac Cop, this is the special edition. I do like this movie, although I don't like how Tom Atkins dies, and he said the same thing when I asked him about it when I met him. But good features on here. Um, I do want to try and get the Blu-ray, because I know the Blu-ray has an interview with Tom Atkins. I'd really like to see that, so that's why I want to get that on Blu-ray. But Maniac Cop is great. The Losers, this was a pretty good movie. Really like this one. Uh, I actually just recently watched it again. But it was fun. I like Chris Evans in the movie. I like Chris Evans. He's a good actor. Then we have the 20th anniversary birthday edition of Child's Play. Great movie. I don't know why the hell they want to remake it. Great features on here. And the Child's Play Killer DVD collection, which has all the sequels. Child's Play 2 and 3 were really good. I like them. Bride of Chucky was good. See to Chucky, didn't care for. And this has the rated version of See to Chucky. I don't know why they would do that, but stupidity. So I'm just going to do a quick cut here and put all this stuff away, and we'll move on to the next one. So I'll be back. Okay, this is the ultimate fan edition of Shawn Michaels' uh, Heartbreak and Triumph. The box is actually damaged at the bottom. For some stupid reason. Urgh. But it's a really cool box that comes with it. And then this opens up. It came with like a mug and a t-shirt and all kinds of stuff. And then the DVDs in here. Damn it. There we go. I'll fix it later. And it's a documentary. It's got some great matches on here as well. Three disc DVD. We'll get into more wrestling stuff later. In here we got Agent Cody Banks. This is my brother's. But I like this movie. So I like Frankie Munez. It, yeah, I know he hasn't done anything lately, but and Hilary Duff is a MILF now. American Pie Franchise Collection. This is the unrated version of all the first three American Pie movies, the good ones. I haven't seen American uh, Reunion yet, but I like the first two the most. American Wedding was alright. Flintstones, complete first season. My mom bought this, but the Flintstones are awesome. So, trying to get all the rest of those now. Mad Dog and Glory with Robert De Niro and Bill Murray in the same movie. Which is pretty good movie. Rocketeer, great superhero movie, very underrated. People don't talk about it enough. Um, this one definitely deserves a special edition as well. Daredevil theatrical cut, which I liked, and this one has different features on it. It's two discs, and Daredevil director's cut, which was great. Um, and this one only has a commentary and a little featurette about some of the stuff they added, and that's it. So, I mean, I like both versions of the movie. I think Daredevil is very underrated. 
I know they want to remake it, but you got to get both of them to get all the features and stuff. And both versions of the movie. Because the director's cut only has the director's cut and the theatrical, you know. So, I hate when they do that. Just put both on the same DVD. People will buy that. Alright. 310 to Yuma, the remake with Russell Crowe and Christian Bale. This was actually a, a really good remake as well. Um, ben Foster is also in it, who was in the Punisher remake. Um, really good movie. Really like that one. Two disc special edition of Predator 2. Awesome movie. Very, very underrated. I don't know why it gets so much crap. But, like, Alien vs. Predator gets praise, and this one doesn't. But great features on here. Great movie. Love Predator 2. Paul Blart, Mall Cop. I like this one. I like Kevin James. I like King of Queens and stuff. So I like him and this movie. So. Eco friendly packaging. Whatever. Got the Director's Cut Platinum series of Spawn. I like Spawn. The suit looked really good in it. Um, this is the R rated version. It's got some decent features on here. But, uh, I mean, Michael Jai White. I love Michael Jai White, so. Blood and Bone, a great Michael Jai White movie. Probably my favorite. Great martial arts movie. Um, like, Kimbo Slice is in this. Uh, Bob Wall from Enter the Dragon. A bunch of guys and gals are in this. Gina Carano, who is, who is gorgeous, is in this movie as well. Black Dynamite with uh, Michael Jai White. God, motherfucker. Great movie. Great, you know, black exploitation parody. Dynamite. Dynamite. Sleepers with Kevin Bacon, Robert De Niro, Dustin Hoffman, Jason Patrick, and Brad Pitt. God damn it. Great movie. Uh, some disturbing stuff in it, but it's still a great movie. Deadly Shooter with Michael Dudikoff and Randy Travis. This was a pretty good one. Pretty good Western movie. Ghost Rider, the two disc extended cut. I like this one. I still haven't seen the second one, but I heard the second one wasn't that good. But uh, Chris, Christoph Lambert is in it, so I'd like to check that out for him. Pink Floyd Pulse. This was a really good concert with Pink Floyd. I like Pink Floyd, so. ACDC Live at Donington. Great ACDC concert. Once again, I love ACDC as well. This is Expect to Die with David Bradley and Jahal Mary. I'm trying to get more of Jahal Mary's movies. But David... Wait a minute. Is that... I think that's Daniel Bernhardt from Bloodsport, the sequels. Okay, <laughs> this one was a good movie. Um, like, David Bradley gets to play a bad guy, which was cool. But the only thing that I, I wish they had done, I wish him and Jahal Mary got to fight. Because they didn't really get to fight, so it would have been cool. And the two-disc Divamax edition of Day of the Dead. This is a really cool case, how it opens up like that. You get to see the that... Zombie and the Crazy Scientist, and opens up like that. I know they're getting ready to do Shout Factory. is going to do a, a collector's edition. I might pick that up, depending on the features. But I love Day of the Dead. Great movie. Meatballs, the special edition with Bill Murray. Love this movie. Just doesn't matter. Got some good features on here. Stripes, this is the extended cut with Bill Murray. Love this one as well. That's the fact, Jack. Ghostbusters, double feature gift set uh, with Ghostbusters 1 and 2. And a scrapbook. I love both Ghostbusters movies. Um, I do feel that they need to go back and do proper special editions of them. That's just me. Especially Ghostbusters 2. Because it's so fucking underrated. Scrooge, another classic with Bill Murray. They were supposed to do a special edition, but then they just decided not to, which sucks. Uh, 15th anniversary special edition of Groundhog's Day. Another great movie. 
the fucking groundhog lied this year. <laughs> I think we should shoot him. Then I have all seven seasons of Boy Meets World. Season one, my favorite sitcom from the 90s. This has got features. Bonus episode from season four and uh, cast and crew commentary. Season two. This one also has comment audio and video commentary with cast and crew. Season 3, where the show gets great. Season 3, 4, and 5 are the best, in my opinion. Because that's when they're in high school and everything. I mean, the whole show is great, but... Yeah, this is the episode where the monkeys reunite and they play. Season 4... This one doesn't have features. Yeah, this is the one where Corey and Sean... Season where Corey and Sean dress up as girls. Season 5, which was where they graduate high school. Season 6, where they start college. And last season, season 7, where Corey and Topanga finally get married. And the show sadly ends. But it had a great run. So, that's all. Seven seasons of Boy Meets World. Love that show so much. Death Sentence with Kevin Bacon. This is the unrated cut. Great movie. Um, from the same author of Death Wish. This was The book was the sequel to Death Wish. This is not a sequel to Death Wish. But this was great. I love Kevin Bacon. So, the reason why I love Kevin Bacon so much is because, you know, he doesn't do... Like, he picks the movies that he wants to do. He doesn't do what's popular or what's cool. He picks what he wants to do. And that's what's awesome about him. That's why I love Kevin Bacon so much. Karate Kid Collection has all four Karate Kid movies. Special edition of Karate Kid, Karate Kid 2, Karate Kid 3, and 4. I love all the Karate Kid movies. Um, I grew up with all four of them. They're all classics, in my opinion. Just fun movies. Great life stories. Special edition Karate Kid. Which has got some really good features on here. Commentary with the writer, the director, and Mr. Miyagi and Daniel. You know, Ralph Macchio and Pat Morita. Um, Multi-part making of featurette. Uh, Beyond the Form featurette. Life of Banzai. East Meets West, the composer's notebook. You know, great, great edition of a great movie. Karate Kid Part 2, which is a great sequel. Where they go to Japan, well, Okinawa specifically. Okinawa is one of the islands of Japan that's not, you know, in the mainland. And the double feature of Karate Kid Part 3 and the next Karate Kid. Um, I just, you know, I like, I love Karate Kid 3. And I, lo I, I I had the next Karate Kid on a VHS tape growing up, um, recorded. But I love I loved all the Karate Kids. So that's all four Karate Kid movies. I love them all. Falling Down with Michael Douglas, phenomenal movie. Just if you really watch this movie, it, it it's representing a lot of what's going on today in the world, and that's what makes it so great. You know, the movie kind of predicted the future. But you get a commentary with Michael Douglas and Joel Schumacher, and then you get an interview with Michael Douglas, which is great. But a great movie. You know, I think, you know, we all have a breaking point. I mean, I don't think we all reach it, but he certainly does in this movie. Phenomenal movie. And and this drawer, the collector's edition of Rounders with Matt Damon. Great movie. Um, another phenomenal cast in this one. Great features on here. You know, great movie. Check this one out if you haven't seen it. Matt Damon's a great actor. But, okay, once again, I'm just going to do a little cut here and put some of this stuff away. That way it's not as cluttered. So, uh, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. Leave it to Beaver. Fun movie. Childhood favorite. Used to watch this one a lot on the Disney Channel with my brother. I love Christopher McDonald. He's a great actor. Double feature of Underworld and Underworld Evolution. These were great. Um, I love both of these movies. Uh, Underworld, Rise of the Lycans, did not care for. 
and the other one, I forget what it's called. I have to check that one out. The newest one, I haven't seen that one yet, but these are both great. And Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, the extreme unrated edition. Um, great movie, great stoner comedy. Neil Patrick Harris is in it, you know, a lot of great actors are in it. Uh, you know, fun, fun stuff, fun movie. And we got Mad Max, the special edition. Um, got some good extras on here. Classic movie. The 1993 Three Musketeers with Charlie Sheen, Kiefer Sutherland, Chris O'Donnell, Oliver Platt, Tim Curry, Rebecca De Mornay. You know, great movie, great Disney movie. It's got a music video. I love that song, All for Love. Let's make it all for one, one for all. And uh, it's got a making of on here. Great movie. Love this movie so much. The Presidio with uh, Sean Connery and Mark Harmon, directed by Peter Himes, great director. Great movie. Got a lot of great uh, chases and action sequences. Great movie. And people don't talk about it. Very underrated movie. Hunt for Red October. This is the special collector's edition. I love this movie as well. Um, once again, Sean Connery is great. And so is Alec Baldwin in this one. John McTiernan directs. Can't go wrong. Then Clear and Present Danger, the special collector's edition, which is my favorite of the Jack Ryan movies. Uh, Harrison Ford is just phenomenal as Jack Ryan. I have Patriot Games on VHS. I just have to pick it up on DVD. Um, so, and the sum of all fears I really don't care about. I'm going to get you sucka, a great black exploitation parody movie with, you know, uh, Bernie Casey's in it, uh, you know... Keenan Ivory Waynes, Isaac Hayes, Jim Brown, great movie, you know, great uh, comedy, fun, just fun stuff in this one. And another uh, Waynes Brothers movie, Low Down Dirty Shame, this one's a lot of fun. Say hello to Arnold for me. You know, yeah, this movie is just a lot of fun. And these are some Michael Jackson DVDs that my mom got, uh, King of Pop and Life of a Superstar. I miss Michael Jackson. This is The Merry Gentleman with Michael Keaton. This was his directorial debut, but this was a pretty good movie um, where he plays a hitman. And I love Michael Keaton. He's just a phenomenal actor. Next is the Urban Action Collection. It has Black Belt Jones with Jim Kelly from Enter the Dragon, which was great. Uh, Black Samson, which I really didn't care for. Hot Potato which was the sequel to Black Belt Jones, which is great, and Three the Hard Way, which has Jim Kelly, Jim Brown, and Fred Williamson. I don't know what the hell that was, my brother. Uh, uh, the, th <laughs> the three that I like are black exploitation classics. <laughs> These are all great movies. And then Black Belt Jones 2, a.k.a. The Tattoo Connection. Um, this is a bootleg because the DVD here sucks. So I'd rather have this. But Bolo Jung's in it. And the Ron Van Cleef collection, which has Way of the Black Dragon and The Death of Bruce Lee, a.k.a. Um, Black Dragon's Revenge. These are fun. Way of the Black Dragon is pretty weird, but Death of Bruce Lee was pretty good. These are old, you know, Hong Kong movies. They have audio commentaries with Ron Van Cleef and behind-the-scenes footage. But they're fun movies. Then we get into some of my Patrick Swayze collection. First, Uncommon Valor. Great, great fucking movie. Definitely needs a special edition. Amazing movie. If you have not seen it, what are you waiting for? The two-disc special edition of The Outsiders, the complete novel. This is the extended director's cut, which has a lot more scenes in it. It's a, it's a more complete movie. But it's got some really good features on here, and you got a phenomenal cast. I mean, look, Patrick Swayze, Matt Dillon, Rob Lowe, Tom Cruise, C. Thomas Howe, Ralph Macchio, Emilio Estevez, uh, Diane Lane's in it. You know, phenomenal cast. And Francis Ford Coppola directed it. Great movie. Do it for Johnny. Stay golden, pony boy. Two-disc collector's edition of Red Dawn. The original, the only one that should have been made. Great fucking movie. Great edition. 
Um, you know, great cast in this one as well. You know, Patrick Swayze, Charlie Sheen, C. Thomas Howe, Leah Thompson, Jennifer Grey. Uh, Powers Booth is in this one. Ben Johnson, Harry Dean Stanton, uh, Ron O'Neill. Um, just phenomenal movie. Great fucking movie. Wolverines. Young Blood. This was a pretty good uh, hockey movie with Patrick Swayze, Rob Lowe. Uh, Keanu Reeves is in it before he was famous. This was a really good one. Of course, you got to have the deluxe edition of Roadhouse, which is still my favorite Patrick Swayze movie. Love Roadhouse. Greatest movie ever made. <laughs> uh, take it outside. Be nice. <laughs> Next of Kin, another great Patrick Swayze movie. Liam Neeson's in this. Ben Stiller's in this. Great movie. Helen Hunt's in this movie. I mean, Adam Baldwin, Bill Paxton. Great cast. Great movie. Rah, Gates. This is the old DVD of Point Break because it has different features. And I love Point Break. It's my second favorite Patrick Swayze movie. Next to Roadhouse. Great movie. Utah. Give me two. This is the Pure Adrenaline Edition of Point Break, which is a great special edition, which is now out of print. Um, you can't get, you can't uh, buy this like at Walmart and stuff anymore. It's on Blu-ray, but you know this is the way to go. This was a pretty good one. Letters from a Killer. This is the one he got hurt on. Um, he broke like his legs. I think both of his legs actually. So this was made for HBO, I think. But yeah, he got hurt doing this movie. And Black Dog, this one was pretty good. Randy Travis and Meat Loafer in it. The guy that did Passenger 57 did this one. Pretty good movie. Fun stuff. Then we got Austin Powers, the first one. The Platinum Series. I like Austin Powers. I mean, I like Mike Myers. These aren't my favorite Mike Myers movies, but I like them. And Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, Platinum Series. Good sequel. And Austin Powers in Goldmember, the Infinite Film Edition, with Michael Caine as Austin Powers' dad, which was great. I loved him. But, uh, yep. So that ends that drawer. So, once again, um, I'm just going to cut and put stuff away. Because I hate having shit lying around, and then I'm trying to move shit, and, you know, all that shit. So, be back in a sec. Okay, next is Boiler Room with uh, Vin Diesel. Uh, Giovanni Ribisi, great movie, um, great soundtrack too, and it's got a great cast in it, but this was a great movie. Ding! Round one, fight. <laughs> this is Payback with Mel Gibson, this is the theatrical cut. Um, I like both versions, and this has a uh, behind the scenes featurette, which is not on the director's cut, which I'll show next. And this is Payback Straight Up, the Director's Cut, Special Collector's Edition. Um, I like the, this version as well, but and then this one has different extra features too. But I like both versions of the movie, so you gotta get, in my opinion, you gotta get both to enjoy the whole movie. So, because this, the, the theatrical cut is more like Lethal Weapon, because like Mel Gibson gets to be funny and stuff. But it's got, you know, good, good hard edge to it. The director's cut's pretty dark and harder edge, but they're both, like, both on their own are good movies, and that's why I like both versions, so I like Payback a lot. First up, or next up is Cyber Tracker with Don the Dragon Wilson. This was a pretty fun movie. Uh, Richard Norton's in it as well. He plays one of the bad guys. Um, people say it's a Terminator ripoff, but not really, in my opinion. Um... But it was good for what it was. And then I have the sequel, Cyber Tracker 2, um, which was a good sequel. And um, Tony Burton's in this from Rocky, um, who plays uh, Apollo's trainer, Duke, Tony Duke. Um, he's in this one as well, and I like him. Uh, John Kazir is in it, who did the voice of the Crypt Keeper. So this was a fun sequel. So Then we got Wayne's World, which is probably my favorite of the Mike Myers movies. Either this or So I Married an Axe Murderer. Good features on here. You get a commentary with the director and interviews and stuff. 
and Wayne's World 2, which was a great sequel. Once again, you get a commentary and interviews. And we have Check It Out with Dr. C. Brule, which is an adult swim show with John C. Riley, which is pretty funny. This is uh, seasons one and two. I think this was the only seasons they did. But uh, pretty goofy stuff, but funny. Look, I mean, just look at his face on the cover there. <laughs> this is Back to the Future, the 25th anniversary trilogy, which has all the movies and uh, new extra features. And it has all the old extra features from the box set. The old box set that I used to have. And Back to the Future, the ride. Love Back to the Future. I mean, you guys already know I love Back to the Future. But I love Back to the Future so much. Revenge of the Ninja with Sho Kosoji. This was the second in the Ninja Trilogy. Uh, great movie. This is my favorite of the series. Uh, Keith Vitale is also in it. And Professor Tiru Tanaka. And this is the uncut version. That's got more violence in it. Gotti with Amarna Santi. Uh, a great, this was made for HBO, but it's still a great movie. I mean, it could have easily went to theaters and made a bunch of money. But great cast in it as well. Phenomenal movie. Great performances. You know what FBI means? No, what? Forever Bothering Italians. Which is true. <laughs> uh, widescreen Anniversary Edition of Edward Scissorhands. Great movie. Uh, you know, it's kind of a sad movie. You know, it's, it's a tra the, you know, the character is definitely a tragic character, but... You know, great movie. Johnny Depp is phenomenal in this movie. Two disc uh, special edition of Rio Bravo, one of the greatest westerns ever made. This is where John Carpenter got the idea for Assault on Precinct 13, and he's openly stated that. <laughs> Mickey Blue Eyes, another great mafia comedy. Very funny with uh, Hugh Grant and James Caan. Um, uh, uh, Burt Young from Rocky, Uncle Paul is in this one as well, but fun movie, very funny movie as well. Got Peter Pan, the uh, Platinum Edition, two disc version, love Peter Pan, you know, classic Disney movies, can't go wrong with, some great features on here. Then we have Re Return to Neverland, I don't think I've seen this one, um, I think my mom bought this, but I don't, don't think I've ever seen that one. The Holy Special Edition Batman um, version of the original Batman movie from the 60s. Very, very fun. Love this movie. Got great features on here. You get a commentary with Batman and Robin. You get a tour of the Batmobile. You get a making of featurette. Great movie. Then we have the two-disc Special Edition of Batman, 1989 version. With, uh, you know, Michael Keaton as Batman still... The, uh, in my opinion, the best comic book movie ever made. Best superhero movie ever made, in my opinion. Um, not my favorite of the series, but a great movie. You know, fantastic movie. Batman Returns, two-disc special edition. Great sequel. I do not understand why this movie gets hate, but the fucking Christopher Nolan movies get all the praise. This movie is way better than those movies. Great sequel. Batman Forever, two-disc special edition. This is my favorite of the old Batman movies. Because Robin's in it, and you got great villains, and just fun. That's just my opinion. Batman and Robin, I only have this for the Arnold Schwarzenegger collection, because I loved Arnold's performance in it. But Chris O'Donnell, I thought, did a good job. But George Clooney sucked as Batman. I didn't care about Poison Ivy. I didn't care about Batgirl. Because they made Batgirl like a ditz and everything. But, uh, I mean, the features are decent. But, I mean, I like it because Arnold. So, Arnold. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. The two disc special edition of The Dark Knight. This is the Joker cover. This was the only one of the Christopher Nolan movies that I think is good. Um... You know, because it's pretty much just non-stop action, although it is, you know, over two and a half hours long. But it's still good for what it is. Heath Ledger, may God rest your soul. Double feature of Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero and Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Two great Batman animated movies from the animated series, which I still think is the best incarnation of Batman. And the uncut version of Batman Return of the Joker, or Batman, yeah... 
Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. This is the PG-13 version, which has more violence, and it's definitely worth it. Phenomenal, phenomenal movie. Batman Beyond is great. And you got good features on here. This is a great kick-ass movie. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Make sure you get this version because it's got more violence. Like Batman should be. Not I am Batman. I am Batman. Special edition of the Transporter. Great action movie. This is my favorite of the series. Uh, I've had this DVD forever. This is like one of the first DVDs I ever got. Transporter 2, which I thought was okay. Um, I think it got a little too crazy with the CGI. and But the fight scenes are really good, so I can't complain about that. And the two-disc fully loaded edition of the Transporter 3, which I liked more than Transporter 2. I know people don't like this one, but I did. Um, I thought the fights and stuff were really good. And I know they kind of ripped off Crank a little bit, but I mean, I still like the movie. And then speaking of Crank, I have Crank here, which was really good. I love this movie. Just crazy shit, you know, in this movie. I got to get the sequel. I don't have the sequel yet. Two disc special collector's edition of Forrest Gump. You know, phenomenal movie. Uh, you know, just amazing, amazing movie about life. And this drawer ends with the Brazilian Brawl with the Machado Brothers. This was a pretty bad movie, but, um, you know, cheesy, good fun. You know, but, yeah, it was cheesy, good fun. So next we're going to get in here. Ah, look at that. I could be a martial artist. Oh, wait, I am. American Graffiti double or drive-in double feature. I think this opens up. Yeah, so you get all that. That's pretty cool. But yeah, American Graffiti is, uh, is definitely a classic. Um, I think this has all the features on here. And uh, another, or more American Graffiti, I haven't seen in a long time, um, so I have to check that one out again. But American Graffiti is definitely a classic. Uh, you know, Harrison Ford's in it, you know, George Lucas movie, classic movie. Love American Graffiti. House Arrest, love this movie, one of my favorite comedies of all time. You know, I think we all kind of want to lock our parents in the basement at times. Saturday Night Live, the best of Dan Aykroyd, which is pretty good. It's got different stuff on here, cone heads and different kind of stuff. Right, next, we got Cocktail with Tom Cruise. Pretty good movie. I liked it. Um, Elizabeth Shue's in it as well. That's a good movie for what it is. Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you. <laughs> Stephen Wright. Um, when the leaves blow away, this is my brother's, but it's pretty funny. Um, Stephen Wright's a pretty funny comedian. Clue the movie, love this movie as well. Great cast, great story. It's got all you know, three different endings. Just a lot of fun, a lot of fun, fun movie. Jackie asked the movie, the collector's edition. Uh, I love the Jackass guys. They're just so fucking stupid, but it's so funny. Jackass number two, unrated. I gotta get the 2.5 because I know it's different. And Jackass three, I don't have, and I gotta get the seasons of the show. The special edition of Dances with Wolves. This is the extended cut, which is almost four hours long. It's got a lot of great features on here. Two discs. Phenomenal movie. Fantastic movie. Substitute four pack. It has all sub all four substitute films. The first one with Tom Berenger. And then Treat Williams takes over in Substitute 2, School's Out. Substitute 3, Winner Takes All, which is my favorite. And Substitute 4, Failure's Not an Option. That one was alright. Um, these are all really good movies, great action movies. A lot of fun. Check these out if you haven't seen them. My Cousin Vinny, which is a f fantastic um, Joe Pesci movie. Ralph Macchio's in it. Fred Gwynn. You know, Herman Munster himself. I think this movie... Deserves a special edition. Um, just great movie. Great movie. Utes. Excuse me, did you say Utes? <laughs> the two Utes. Uh, National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon 1. This is a great parody of like Lethal Weapon and, you know, Die Hard, all these, you know, action films. You know, great movie. Grew up with this one. 
And I think this, yeah, this opens up and you get some pictures. The part with Bruce Willis is always my favorite. When they blow his house up and it's like the wrong guy. The hell are you doing, huh? Tommy Boy, the Holy Schnikey Edition. Great movie, great edition. Got a lot of great features on here. You know, uh, Chris Farley, we miss you. Great movie. Black Sheep, very fun movie. Gary Busey's in this one. I got all of Bruce Lee's movies on Laserdisc. And I do too. <laughs> Beverly Hills Ninja, another very fun one. This one has Robin Shu in it from Mortal Kombat. No one messes with my brother! And Saturday Night Live, the best of Chris Farley. This one is okay. Um, a lot of it's just different clips. It's not the entire skits. Um, which kind of is kind of sucks. I'd rather have like all the you know the complete thing, but I mean it's good what they put like the complete stuff that they did put on here was good. Then we have Mortal Kombat, the original movie, classic video game movie, classic martial arts movie. Definitely deserves a special edition because the Blu-ray and the laser disc have features, but the DVD doesn't. Mortal Kombat Annihilation, um, you know, pretty. Shitty movie, but I like the fight scenes in it, so I can't complain about that. Spartan, this is a really good Val Kilmer movie. Got a lot of good stuff in it. And Big, the extended edition. I think this is, disc, yeah, two discs. Uh, great, you know, it's got the extended cut and the theatrical cut. Uh, a lot of great features on here. Great movie. I love Big. I love Tom Hanks. He's just a fantastic actor. Then we get Highlander, the Immortal Edition. Unfortunately, this case has seen better days. Um, this is another movie that I wish they would go back and redo for features. I mean, you get a you get a bonus CD with Queen, which has three songs, which is all right. Then you get a commentary, trailers. Talent bios, poster and still gallery, music videos, and that's it. I mean, no, like, making of documentary. Like, Highlander 2 has features about the movie, and this one doesn't. <laughs> but, this wants to come out. There it is. I've had this DVD for a long time. But, yeah, I mean, I wish they would go back and do a special edition, a proper special edition. But, I mean, I love Highlander. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. You know, I love the TV show, and I just love... I'm a big Highlander fan. Then we get Highlander, The Final Dimension. This is the special director's cut. I like this one. I mean, not perfect, but fun for what it is. Um, I got Highlander 2 in my room on DVD, so you'll see that later. Then Highlander Endgame, which is really kind of the only sequel they should have made. This is the producer's cut. Um, I like this because you have Adrian Paul in it from the TV show. This is two disc uh, collector's edition. It's got a commentary, the work print version, behind the scenes featurette, deleted scenes. Stupid, it's got these stupid games on here, but I mean, it's better than nothing. But I'm, you know, I'm a big Highlander fan. Braveheart, the two disc special collector's edition. Um, got some good features on here, classic movie. Unite them. Unite the clans. Double feature of Teen Wolf and Teen Wolf 2. Teen Wolf is a great 80s classic. Teen Wolf 2. I mean, I really... Uh, you know, I haven't seen it in a long time. But I really just... I really don't care for it. That's just me. But I love the original. Jaws, the 30th anniversary edition. No, I did not get the fucking book with this, which sucks. But this has got the... Uh, the Finally, they released the complete documentary on here the old dvd was edited got deleted scenes interviews all kinds of good stuff jaws 2 the equally great sequel in my opinion and good features on here as well love jaws 2 mr saturday night with billy crystal a great movie i believe this was his directorial debut yes it is got decent features it's got a commentary uh featurettes deleted scenes outtakes Great movie. Then we got The Sandlot, one of my favorites growing up. You know, classic baseball movie. My favorite baseball movie. 
Got decent features. It's got a making of and uh, tra trailers and TV spots. You know, great coming of age movie. And my brother picked up Sandlot 2. This one's alright because this one, the director of the first one actually did this one too. So this one's alright. And it's got some decent extras. It has an extra, you probably can't see it, but it uh, has a feature. It says Sandlot Kids Then and Now. It has some of the kids from the original like interviews with them on here, which is cool to see that kind of stuff. I always like that kind of stuff. But, I mean, it's decent for what it is, you know. And then I'm going to run a low on space here, so I think I'm just going to do this drawer. So we get the five-star, two-disc collection of the French Connection, which has some decent extras. I wish it had more, but French Connection's a classic. I mean, you get a commentary with Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider. I mean, that's just awesome in itself. The deluxe edition of Men in Black. Love Men in Black. It's a classic. I actually think I saw Men in Black in theaters back in the day when it came out. I th I'm I'm like 80, well no, I think I'm like 98% sure I did see this movie back in the theaters. But I love Men in Black. This is still my favorite one of the series. I gotta get Men in Black 3, I haven't seen it yet. Men in Black 2, very fun sequel. I know people are kind of iffy on it. But I liked it, you know, it's got some fun stuff in it, you know, so... Then I have In Living Color. This is season one um, the, and, and season two. The reason why I have these is because I bought them at Blockbuster. And like I said earlier about Blockbuster, what they would do is they would throw away, like when they would get DVDs, they would throw the cases away and use these Blockbuster cases. So when they would sell them, you would get these instead of the actual cases that they came in, which sucks. But this is season one. Of In Living Color. This is season two. Of In Living Color. Then I have season three. Which is really the last great season. Because the Waynes Brothers left after season three. And season five. Which was the This one was alright. Uh, Jim Carrey's not really in this season that much. Because he was shooting Ace Ventura at the time. But it's alright. And the shitty thing about these DVDs, like, some of them are missing sketches, and some of the music is missing and stuff, which sucks. So I'm trying to get uncut, you know, in living color, because it was a great show. Platinum edition of Scarface. This is uh, two discs, I believe. Yes, um, got a lot of great features on here. Say hello to my little friend. Phoenix, this was a great movie with Ray Liotta. Double feature, Tales from the Crypt, Bordello of Blood, and Demon Knight. These were both great. Bordello of Blood is just a hell of a lot of fun. I really didn't like the ending, though. And Demon Knight is a hell of a lot of fun, too. These are great movies. You know, I love Tales from the Crypt. Surviving the Game, this is fun. Ice-T, Rutger Hauer, uh, Charles Dutton, Gary Busey. You know, this is a, it's like a hard target out in the woods with Ice-T. What's that line he says at the end? I forget, but he's like, he's like, game over, bitch, or something like that, and it's just a funny line. Then we got Leon, the professional. This is the two disc deluxe edition, which has the director's cut, which is long, which is longer version of the movie, and some good features on here. Great movie, very. It's a tough movie to watch at times, but it's a great one. And the special collector's edition of the Untouchables. Great movie. Focus. Kevin Costner, Charles Martin Smith, you know, Terry DeToad from American Graffiti, Andy Garcia, Robert De Niro, and Sean Connery. You bring a knife to a gunfight. You know, great great features on here as well. Classic movie. The original Walking Tall, which is great. The remake was good, too. Ready to Rumble. This is a very fun wrestling movie. Goofy movie, but, you know, very... God damn it, very fun. I've um, got some pretty decent extras on here. Reign of Fire. This is a fun one. This is one of the first DVDs I ever got with Matthew McConaughey, Christian Bale. I think Gerard Butler's in this. Yeah, he is. 
Um, but this was good. Good movie. I mean, I liked it for what it was. This is Seven, the uh, two-disc platinum series. Fantastic movie. I mean, the ending is just phenomenal. Got a lot of great features on here. This is the 30th anniversary special collector's edition of Saturday Night Fever. Uh, my mom bought this, but I mean, it is a classic. God damn it. This is a classic movie. But uh, my mom said the DVD skips. I think I have to buy another one. But, I mean, it's a great movie. No doubt about that. And this is a double feature of Bean, the movie, and Johnny English. I love Mr. Bean. Johnny English, you know, Rowan Atkinson. You know, like him. So I know people don't, but I do. The Rat Pack. This was a great made-for-HBO movie with Ray Liotta, uh, Joe Montagna, Don Chadell's in it. You know, about Frank Sinatra and, you know, the Rat Pack. Great movie. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This is the Bueller Bueller edition. Great extra features on here. Classic movie. Classic movie. And this is the Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy, which has all three movies and brand new extra features. This came out, I think, like right, I think the same day the Back to the Future, new Back to the Future set came out. But a lot of, and it has all the features from the previous DVDs as well, which is great. But yeah, I mean, I love Jurassic Park. Um, I wanted to go see the 3D version just to see the movie in theaters, but I never, I didn't get to it, but oh well. But anyway, I'm just going to stop here because the battery is about to die and the space on the camera. So I will start another part and we'll try to get through the rest of the stuff in this room. This is probably going to take the longest, obviously. But then, you know, however many parts it takes, we'll get there. So I will catch you guys later. Take care.